You filthy half blood. Oh, I've always wanted to see that. Hello everyone, how are we doing? <clears throat> oh my God, this wig. I love this wig, but please stop. So today, obviously I am doing Bellatrix. I am really, really pleased with how this turned out. This video is in collaboration with my wonderfully talented and gorgeous friend, Rachel, otherwise known as Raquel on the internet. Raquel, is it pronounced like that? Is it? I'm gonna have to ask her. You need to go and check her out. Her cosplays are absolutely outstanding. I love what Rachel does so much. I will put her links down below. I'm so pleased that we're doing a video together. You need to go and check her out cause she's so good. So just when I was filming my intro for this video just there, the post arrived. I have been waiting on things to arrive for this costume. One of them being this amazing necklace that I got on eBay. The second one being my wand. Whether the wand arrived or not, I knew that I had to film this video today. So I'm gonna open the wand and I'm really excited. Ah! I got this wand on eBay. It's not one of the official ones because I have my official serious black one that I got from Harry Potter World in Orlando for my Bellatrix costume, cosplay, whatever. I wanted to just get a kind of cheaper one. So I found one on eBay. We're gonna open it. Ready? Ah, look at it, it's so cool. Yeah! Yeah! The costume is complete. That could not have worked out any more perfect. Seriously, I was literally sitting down to do my intro and then the, the doorbell rang. I ran to the door and was like, hello, Mr. Poseman, I'm just trying on my Halloween costume. And he was like, great, because your wand's just arrived. Look at it, it's just perfect. See, for just a cheap costume, you know, for just throwing something on for Halloween, you couldn't get any better than that, to be honest. This has just worked in perfectly. I'm so happy. So. Bellatrix. Rachel messaged me saying that she was doing a Sarah Sanderson look and I thought well I need to do something witchy as well and Bellatrix has been in the back of my mind for a while so I thought we're gonna bring her out. We're gonna do Bellatrix. I'm so pleased with how she's worked out. I'm genuinely so happy with this. Yeah. I had like the lace dress. I've had that in my wardrobe for years and years and years. So I thought that would do. And I got, oh no, my ring's fallen off. The second dress, I got it in a charity shop a long, long, long time ago. And I knew it would come in handy, so I didn't throw it out. You can kind of wear whatever black lace, velvet, anything that's like a long kind of droopy, witchy looking dress. She does have a corset, which is why I put the belt over it. The belt has also just been lying around my house for ages. The necklace I just found on eBay for, I think it was like two quid. Really, really cheap. Just type in Bellatrix Lestrange necklace. She does wear rings. So anything that's kind of silver and black, that'll do. And obviously the wand I've already discussed. I got the wig from Wig is Fashion. It is my Anna Valerius one and I will be talking about that later on in the video. But for now, let's jump back an hour or so to, oh my God, no, I've just had the best idea ever. Hold that thought. Let's jump back an hour in time so I can show you how I got this look. I've got my, you can't see it, but I've got my, have you seen Sirius Black t-shirt on today? No, you haven't seen him because I killed him. He's my favorite. Yeah. So Bellatrix, the first thing we're doing as always is using this stuff for a primer. I really probably should get some actual primer uh, instead of choosing men's post shaving balm all the time. It goes a long, long way. I didn't realize quite how long I would be using this stuff for, but oh well. Oh, and it always makes my face really, really pink. So for foundation, I am using the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop in the shade Pale. The same stuff I used for Wednesday Adams and Bellatrix is really pale as well. So we are using, we're using this. Oh no, that failed horribly. Eh. All of the pale, everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I should not have done that. I should not have done that. I'm going to my neck again because my neck's really yellow in comparison to the rest of my face now. Next thing will be some concealer. I'm using the Last Imperfection. Oh no wait, that's, it's upside down. <laughs> I'm using the Extra Fair one. I am not gonna do this under my eyes because Bellatrix is like, she has bags under her eyes anyway. So why not use my natural bags under my eyes, you know, and just emphasize them a bit. So the only place I'm gonna use this actually is right down my nose. And she, well, that was rude. She has quite a, a pointy nose. So I'm just gonna do that. 
Oh my god, what am I doing? Looking sufficiently pale now. The next thing I'm doing is taking my ultra fine loose setting powder by MUA. Oh my god, this has just gone everywhere. Oh no. Carefully pack this onto my face. Look at that, sitting right up at the edge. I'm scared. Oh, it's going all over. Every oh no. Okay, we're now gonna just gonna dust that off. <coughs> oh my God, <laughs> it's going up my nose. Bellatrix is a fairly simple makeup routine, kind of like Wednesday because she doesn't wear a lot of makeup. She just looks kind of tired and gross, I guess. I am gonna use Imogenation and I'm using Can't Deal. Our cheekbones are very, very defined, so you need quite a, a dark colour for this. If you suck in your cheeks and you can see these lines here, like hers are very, very defined and they kind of like come down here. She is quite skeletal. And we are also going to do some up here on your temples, just to give her that proper skeletal look. Oh, cute, serious black. I killed serious black. I don't usually contour my nose, but she has a very pronounced nose. You should probably get a smaller brush to do this. I've, I've realized this, my mistake, my rookie error. And just go under your chin with the this contour as well. The next thing that we're gonna do is eyebrows. Bellatrix has quite natural eyebrows. They're quite angular on this side. Like they are quite square. And they are quite arched, so I'm gonna bring these down more than my natural eyebrow. They're just a bit wispy on this side. Fill it in a little bit, but not too much. I look more Voldemorty. I'm going to kill you, Harry Potter. Ha! <laughs> I'm out of cadaver! Next up is eye stuff. So I'm just putting my primer on for that. For this I am using me I am using me matte palette makeup revolution the flawless mattes palette my absolute favorite. I need a color that's kind of browny pink let's go for this and work with these colors. So I am covering my lid with this and also I'm gonna bring it in here. These bits of her nose are very very pronounced. Just bringing that across the lid and down here as well. I actually do look more like Voldemort than Bellatrix right now. You're a wizard, Harry. You're a wizard. No, Hagrid, I'm just Harry. Listen, Hagrid, you fat oaf. I'm just Harry. You're no just Harry. You're a wizard. Even though Hagrid is actually Yorkshire. No, is he Yorkshire? Ooh, -er. No, he's not Yorkshire. He's from Cornwall, isn't it? Is it Cornwall? Round about there? You three had best be looking after yourselves. I'm using my wizard wand brushes obviously had to use these make sure the edges aren't too harsh blendy blend next i'm using that darker brown color that i pointed out into the crease a little bit i'm just getting reminded of potter puppet pals give me a hug harry no hugging what is all this rumpus harry hit me Ron invaded my personal bubble. Right, we're just gonna buff this out a little bit. The edges, this has to look fairly natural. Like she hasn't slept in 10 years or however long she's been in Azkaban. Do they sleep in Azkaban? Ah. Pantalonius Pupicus. I want to darken up the edges of her makeup a tiny little bit. So we are gonna use, what are we gonna use? That one right there. I always forget not to do this and stay up here so that y'all can actually see what I'm doing. I sounded like Lockhart then. It was pretty obvious. Ah, I knew the exact counter cast that could have saved her. Oh no, that was too posh. That was way too posh for Lockhart. And? Bit of Lucius Malfoy there. Master has presented Dobby with clothes. Master has given Dobby a sock. Dobby is free. What, I didn't give. You've lost me, my servant! You will not harm Harry Potter. That is the wrong film, wrong characters. Oh well, I need more Bellatrix quotes. Do Hermione as Bellatrix. Just give it the chin. Oh yeah, we're just we're just blending out again because we don't want any of those harsh lines. Now I'm Billy Connolly, apparently. 
Oh aye, it's the big man. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in with this color again underneath my eyes, but this time I'm just gonna use my finger, just dab underneath my eyes, because we want that to be a lot more tired looking. Just a bit hack it, one of my favorite Scottish words. Hack it! I'm just taking one of these little guys and taking the lightest, oh my god, why do I make this so awkward for myself? The lightest colour in this palette. She has these really bright bits right on the inside of her eyes. Just dusting off the edges. The last thing I'm going to do for the eyeshadow is take the darkest colour in the palette. Not too much because it's just acting as a little bit of eyeliner. And that is too harsh for me, so we are just gonna dust that off. Should have used a thinner brush, but I didn't. That is it for eyeshadow, I think. I'm just gonna go over my nose contour, and this time I'm just taking a normal fluffy brush for this. And because she has such a pointy nose, I'm coming right down to here, and then just dusting it off a little bit. And now I'm just going to use a little bit of mascara. Again, she doesn't wear a lot of makeup, so you don't have to wear lashes or anything. The last thing to do will be the lipstick. For this, I'm using the Burgundy Lip Pencil by MAC. That one there. I'm using Viva Glam, also by MAC. It's one of the Ariana Grande ones. I love it. It's such a good colour for this. Why is there a dark mark there? A dark mark. <laughs> I'm just going to go very gently around the edge. There we go. I'm not gonna fill my lips in with this properly. I'm just gonna get a little bit on the end of my finger. And then I'm just gonna like wipe it around the edge just to kind of like smudge the edges a little bit. Now the last thing that we are gonna do are her manky ass teeth. I would recommend using actual teeth blackener stuff for this. I do not own any of that so I'm going to use the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in Alien and see how this works out. You're probably not supposed to put this in your mouth but I think for teeth just a little bit because it's a lipstick I'm hoping for the best. That is rank. <laughs> this is like the worst foundation for making your actual teeth look really yellow. That's really gross. If you can understand what I'm saying, quickly go over the red again. Do I make you horny, baby? Next up, we have the wig. Always remember to have the thick bit at the front. Holy hell, what is going on here? Just make sure you've got all your hair in. Get in there, behave. So the wig that I have got is, it's actually my Anna Valerius one that I got from Wig is Fashion. She is pretty perfect for Bellatrix to be honest because of the, the curls and everything. She's definitely not wispy enough to be Bellatrix but oh well. Just throw her in back and then pull your wig on, shugle it around till it is in position. So because she has that bird's nest thing going on on top of her head, I'm going to take some sections of hair, basically leave some bits dangling down the front and then take the next sections and just kind of crossing them over on top of my head, getting a Kirby grip and I'm just gonna secure those on top so you've got like that kind of mad look going on. I would say definitely get some brown contact lenses and also she has like kind of minging fingernails. I'm pretty sure they're just black. Apart from that, that is the makeup done and we're now gonna get into the costume. You've seen me in costume already. I've not seen me in costume yet so I'm gonna go get into costume and we're gonna do a montage in Big Bellatrix mon- Really? Why? We're gonna do a montage. How's mum and dad? So that is my Bellatrix video. I really, really hope you guys have enjoyed this. Again, please go and check Rachel out. She's absolutely phenomenal. I will list all the makeup that I use below. Here's to another Halloween video. I really hope this has given you guys some inspiration. I will see you in the next video. I have got one more Halloween video for y'all. Bellatrix out.